This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. I hope everyone is enjoying this uh, day as much as I am. I think it's a good, great example of what we are hoping to accomplish with the new uh, endeavor that I refer to as CHQI. First, I'm Terry Keelhorn. I am the director for the Professional Medical Liability Program at the Office of the President, Office of Risk Services. Risk Services functions in many different areas, including the upside of risk. It's not all about the downside. Yes, we do claims management. We purchase the insurance on a system-wide basis, but we also identify uh, strategies to help minimize the impact of risk to help the strategic goals of the organization. And that is called enterprise risk management. Let me talk about what is enterprise risk management. And ERM supports a framework of activities to identify and manage risk holistically by encompassing all forms of risk across our organizations. In healthcare, I've just identified four large buckets, compliance, reimbursement, liability, reputation, uh, we have many, many more competing demands and, and, and risks in our environment. You know what they are better than I do. The definitions of ERM are, are, there are several of them, or many of them. There's the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the Treadway Commission, which is referred to as COSO, and that's what the uh, definition and model that was adopted by the regents. There's also the American Society for Healthcare Risk Management, the American Healthcare Lawyers, organization, many, many different groups have different definitions. Um, I'm not going to read all the definitions, but here's the one for COSO, which is a process affected by an entity's board of directors, management, and other personnel applied in a strategy setting and across the enterprise designed to identify potential events that may affect the entity and manage the risk to be within the risk appetite and to provide reasonable assistance regarding the achievement of your objectives, the entity objectives. The ashram is a little bit different twist, but getting to the same point, and that is uh, ERM in healthcare promotes a comprehensive framework for making risk management decisions which maximize your value protection and creation by managing risk and uncertainty and their connections to your total value, which I think is pretty much in line with what we were, have been talking about all day. So successful ERM programs expand the approach from, of risk from preventing loss or the downside of risk to value to include value creation, which is what we refer to as the upside of risk. So our goal is enterprise risk management can help you take greater risk while ensuring the most positive outcome for your organization. It can tie into your strategic decision making and facilitate collaboration and communication. Uh, I'm not going to go through this, but it's not just about the, the deliverables. It's and there are many values. It's about also tearing down the silos. Now, I do have a slide that I'm not going to show you today that actually shows a silo blowing up. I, I didn't want to uh, press myself on the technology. <laughs> CHQI ERM is a way that we are looking at with, to look at things differently across our enterprise and to look at things more holistically. In the past, the professional liability program has looked at different ways to try to reduce risk, improve patient safety, improve reputation. We've had the four and six percent prescription program, which I've now just taken away the percentages and I refer to it as the prescription program. It lasted through this fiscal year and it provided financial benefit to the medical schools and medical centers to help them reduce their risk. We've um, selected 
ECRI, we have their healthcare control risk uh, resources for their risk managers. We have Vanderbilt PARS for physician peer review based on complaint data. We do uh, consultation training. We have online medical education. We did. We funded Life Wings. We we fu we're funding Emmy. We're funding a system-wide incident reporting and patient complaint system through RL. But last year at the colloquium, Grace Cricket, our chief risk officer who unfortunately today is her last day, so this is kind of touching that we're announcing the winners of the CHQI ERM grants. Our, the light bulb went off for both of us. We were here in the audience and we just turned to each other and said, wouldn't it be a great partnership if we funded grants through CHQI ERM? So this represents the evolution of the PL loss prevention rebate program. We went to Terry Leach and we said, Terry, Dr. Stobo, can we partner with you? Can we create grant funds and will you help us manage them? Uh, the prescription programs, which are similar to a different program in risk that we call the Be Smart About Safety, it was me, myself, and I helping to run it. Uh, it, it unfortunately didn't get the attention at the organizational level that I had hoped it would. Some people have just recently, even though it's been in existence for six years, and we have offered millions of dollars uh, back to the schools of medicine and the medical centers, uh, some leaders came up to me and said, gee, Terry, I never heard of the prescription program. What is it? So obviously I failed on marketing. The initiatives didn't get the full support. I tried to come up with some really good ones. Uh, I thought they were brilliant. Not everyone else wanted to do them. Uh, the reviewer for the uh, grant proposals at the Office of the President was me, myself, and I, my team of three, and uh, I didn't have time to do monitoring or evaluation. It also, the projects that I tended to come up with or that were requested, in some cases, were conflicting with the strategic goals of the organization, so it was a little hard to get leverage at the organizational level. So. That's why we felt it was a good fit with CHQI. It expanded the people who were looking at it. It's gotten much greater attention. It's aligned with your strategic goals, we hope. And so this was the new uh, joint venture that we created. We funded it with a healthy amount of money, uh, approximately $10 million. And we, um, it involves the medical center risk managers, who we could not have done this without, as well as a number of different individuals from the medical centers. In some cases, it was the chief medical officers, chief nursing officers, and others across the five UC medical centers and the UC Riverside School of Medicine. We had, I think, a very successful effort it was a very, very quickly put together. I mean, we, uh, I don't know how we did it. <laughs> Terry doesn't either. Um, but we really pulled it, this off, and I've got to say a huge thank you to everyone that was involved. We got over 30 projects, thanks to all the people who submitted the projects. And um, we're going to be announcing those just in one moment, but I do want to call out and do say, reiterate my thank you to everyone who is involved, Terry Leach, Claudia Schwartz, Dora, Alita, Jade, Dr. Stobo, phenomenal support for health, from Health Sciences and Services. Grace's name isn't up there, but she was obviously uh, the support behind this. Our CHQI ERM committee, which included the individuals I talked to, but I'd like to give a special thank you to our risk managers on the behalf of Terry and me. Uh, the two Terrys, that's Susan Penny from UCSF, Belinda Hine from UC San Diego, Nancy Ho from UC Irvine, Kathy Rowe from um, UC Davis, and uh, Joanna Clone from UCLA. I hope I got everyone, but also all the others that participated on the committee. Thank you very much for the time and energy that you gave to this and helping to make this a success. I think we we will be looking to repeat it. We will be looking to your ideas for how we can make it better and continue to improve. But without any further uh, delay, I want to be able to turn this back over to Terry so she can announce who the grant winners are. Thank you.